Good morning. It's Friday and we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday. The last thing I said was that Paul was an example to follow him like he followed Christ. And he said that the God of peace will be with you. So we can copy the spiritual um, patterns and development of other people because uh, it's all, all the Lord in us, right? It's not anything we've arrived at or achieved at ourselves. It's just the work of God's grace in us that we've learned some things that other people need to learn too. So we hang out with each other, we talk, we pray, hey, how do you handle this? How do you get through this? And, and we discover from one another's lives how we've been able to go deeper in the Lord and actually experience the reality of the Holy Spirit in our lives. So he continues in verse 10, and uh, we're going to look at 10 through 13, about the generosity of the Philippian church toward the ministry that Paul was called to, how they helped him. He said, But I rejoice in the Lord greatly, that now at last your care for me has flourished again. Though, uh, through, uh, excuse me, though you surely did care, but you lacked opportunity. Now that I speak in regard to need, for I've learned in whatever state I am to be content, I know how to be a base and I know how to abound. Everywhere and on all things I've learned, both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So it's amazing how Paul takes this teaching now out of anxiousness, which you can be anxious if you're worrying about provision. Is it there? Isn't it there? How's it going to come? You know, I, I've been in both places of prospering. I've been in places of not prospering. Paul experienced everything that you and I experience in our lives. But one thing he learned through um, the adversities and difficulties was that God was faithful all the time. And he was able to provide an infrastructure within Paul's heart and mind that no matter how bleak or how great things were, he knew that he could persevere and live a life of overcoming um, obstacles, if you may, uh, because of Christ who lived in him, who continually strengthened him. And so uh, Paul tells us in Galatians 2.20 that I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, in this body, in this life, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So we have to remind ourselves that we're not alone. That Christ is in you, he's in me, he's in all of us as believers equally. Not more in me or less in you or vice versa. He, he dwells, the fullness of the Godhead dwells within us. And uh, so we can uh, participate in the life of God in the midst of our human existence. And this is supernatural overcoming life. This is Zoe life, the Greek word means the God kind of life. We have the human kind of life, which ends up in uh, death, but we have the God kind of life that ends up in eternal life every day. And so uh, this chapter, I, I just find myself personally this week, it's ministering to me in really wonderful ways as I got up this morning and began to think about the things that we're going over personally. I'm just so grateful for the, the Word of God. And, and so again, uh, tell people to, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you get the bell alerts whenever new videos are coming up or teachings on Sunday on YouTube. Um, you know, you can listen to the graceradio.fm teachings throughout the week, uh, different pastors teaching the Word of God. Uh, locally in Greensburg, 100.3 FM, you can listen to the uh, radio broadcast. I mean, we have all this technology now to, to be able to really communicate the Zoom meetings that many of you are doing, prayer and Bible studies. Uh, but most importantly, the most important connection you can have is the Word of God on a daily basis, which I trust you're in as I need to be as well. And uh, may God bless you through these teachings. We love you and have a great day.